It's hard to describe my feelings at that moment. Exhausted, yes, but joyful. I had made it. Once I delivered Hunter's message, the rescue of my home station could be decided by those stronger and wiser than I, and my task would be over. Hey, you at the rail car! Stop the engine! Do not move! Name yourselves! Oh, we're Nazis coming to take your station. Ulman, <laughs> is that you? You're lucky Petrovich isn't here. He's not a man for jokes. Who's that with you? He's from the northern frontier. I'm escorting him from the black station. All right, come on through. Welcome to Polis, Captain Krasnov. You've come a long way, young man. Where exactly are you from? He's from the exhibition. What, can't he speak for himself? Look, Captain, it's the kid's first time in Polis. He's been through hell getting here, and he's carrying Hunter's message to Miller. So, cut him some slack, huh? All right, all right. Get changed. There's the clothes. You can leave your gear. It'll be safe here. You'll get it back sparkling clean. You go ahead and take some rest, Artyom, and I'll go find Miller. I hope he's not out on a mission. By the way, don't forget to scrub yourself down in the lobby, old man. I won't, I won't. <laughs> you pain in the ass. Would you rather have two-headed kids? <laughs> Idiots. Hello! Need ammo? Ask me! Hmm. What could it be? What? Hmm. And where is your ammo? Mine's here. What's happening? Mm hmm. Yeah. Good deal. His stuff is five times better than your toy gun. Mm hmm. As you wish. Bullets exchange. You won't find better rates in the whole. You don't have that caliber. You're welcome. Come! He stopped. Agree. Eh, whatever. Well, thank you for bringing this to Polis. Was a brave thing you did. I'll call an emergency session. When they summon you, you'll report the situation. All council members, please assemble in the council chamber. I repeat, all council members, please proceed to the council chamber. Escort the boy to the council chamber. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Artyom, 
I'm stunned that the Council has refused to help your station. I'm, I'm ashamed that they lack the courage you have already shown. But Polis is not the whole Metro. There still are people who will rise up and fight the threat of the Dark Ones. Okay, 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 okay. Listen carefully. The Rangers have found several well-preserved missile bases near the city. Some could probably be activated and deliver a missile strike against the Dark Ones. The problem is that the missiles are supposed to be launched from the command center, D6, but we don't know where that is or if it's operational. However, we do know where that information can be found. There's a huge library on the surface. Dangerous place, but it contains a secret military archive. We must go there. Okay, we'll split up now to avoid the tension. You'll go up from here. I've already arranged that. When you've made your way to the library entrance, I'll be there waiting for you. Okay? Hey, Artyom. Be careful. Ah, one more thing. When we go back, we'll head straight for Sparta base. My rangers will meet us there. The Consul's decision shocked me, but Milius' plan gave me hope. Once more I climbed up to the bones of Moscow to search for the secret of D6 and a way to awaken the horde of missiles.
Okay, let's do it. We are ready. Now remember what to do. We need to get to the military archives. It is somewhere beneath the main library. Now, we can reach it through the main reading hall, all right? Now freezing here. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Upon entering the great library, I was in awe. It seemed like a fairy tale castle. And, as in the old stories, its treasures were guarded by monsters. Manila, watch the outside. We'll go with our team to check the hall. Come for you on our way back. <laughs> <laughs> We don't smell it anyway. <laughs> Check for 
Everyone's on the side. It's going to be coming back to orbit. We're doing well. And Mr. Gatsky. Roadside picnic. Huh. Something familiar. Keep packing, will it ever end? My, oh my! You've probably read about it in books of the saints. It must have been beautiful once. Librarian! Listen, Arthur. Librarians are some of the most dangerous creatures out here. If you meet one, or two, God forbid, don't fight it. But don't run from it either. The beast won't attack you if you look them in the eye. But remember, never let them out of your sight. Show them your back, you die. Okay, if a beast gets nervous, move away, but slowly. And if you shoot, well, look or don't look, you won't see anything ever again. still alive. Artyom, I must take him to Polis. You'll have to find the map yourself. Here are the floor plans. The entrance to the military archive is somewhere on the first floor of the library. The door the librarian went through leads there. There's not much time. Don't come in. Come now, and remember what I told you about the beast, okay? I'll try to come back as soon as possible. Go. I was alone again, and soon I would look into the eyes of fear, literally.
underground depository was a frightening place, and I had no idea where or what to search. But I refused to think that all my efforts would come to nothing.
I had found the D6 documents, but Miller had not yet returned. Without his help, I wasn't certain I could get out of the library alive, but everything depended on it. So, where are we going? To church. Artyom, does the name Ken ring a bell? He helped us find you. I still don't know how he did it. Hey, how about some music? Sure, put it in. So far, the only human outpost up here. Sparta's outdoor base. Look around. In the meantime, I'll check the documents you brought. I was put in charge of radio monitoring. Our hope hmm. was to contact the government bunkers or the Urals, but those bunkers were the first to be hit. At first, they didn't directly target civilians, and nobody thought this would be the war that would end. As I was monitoring the radio, I picked up a lot of weird stuff in the beginning, too. Siberia was silent, but the others did transmit, including the strategic nuclear subs. The subs kept waiting for orders. Should we hit them? No one could believe Moscow is not there anymore. Naval captains wept like kids on the air. The crewmen were begging me to check if their families were among the survivors. But I couldn't do anything. Some of the subcrews decided to get their revenge and went to their launch positions. Others reasoned that since the world was doomed, more killing was pointless. The subs continued to come back on Earth for a long time. They could stay submerged for half a year at least. Some of them were destroyed, but not all. I still shiver. Remember those days. Hmm? Hmm? Artyom, I'm Vladimir. Pick whatever you like. You can't find stuff like this in the metro. It's the latest military equipment. The cost in blood is outrageous, I'll tell you that. Hey there, Artyom. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm exercising, as you can see. <laughs> hmm. 
Okay, okay, okay. There's not much useful in here. Just hints at most. Although it does show the way to D6. Well, that's our destination then. Are you ready? So, how are we faring? Wallman, is everything ready? Uh, the firewood's done. <laughs> Vladimir? The gear's ready. You guys? Ready. Settle up then. Pakonyam. It's the old church dungeon. Get in! Ah, great. It's time to warm up at the stove. <laughs> 